Hopefully you have nothing to warn us about tonight. Kevin. Yeah, that's right. The odds of thunderstorm warnings are enhanced somewhat. Of course, the Weather Service Forecast Office in Bismarck will be responsible for issuing any warnings associated with these storms. But at the moment, they're remaining below severe classification. We don't have reports of up to an inch diameter hail, nor winds in excess of roughly 60 miles per hour. That can change in no time, though. But these storms are maintaining their, uh, their strength, but not really getting any stronger the past several months minutes here again moving through Kenmare right now some periods of heavy rain the prospects for some hail remaining uh, with these storms the next couple of hours I still think we're going to have to remain weather aware through most of Ward County that does include mine out of course the next few hours here as these storms are moving for the most part toward the east but then eventually I think in the moisture rich air even richer air toward the southeast over the next couple of hours so just remain weather aware if you're watching us here in the KMOT viewing area of north central North Dakota channel Chances for thunderstorms increasing. Not much going on in the Magic City right now with our Minot Skywatch camera. 86 degrees here. We can see some of the thunderstorms, some of the anvils here, or some of the higher level clouds. We can detect that from our camera pointed toward the northwest. Currently 86 degrees in the Magic City with that threat for severe weather next few hours. In fact, from roughly Minot to the east along Devil's Lake or uh, along US 2, Devil's Lake, we're in that scatter classification of severe thunderstorms, which means storms that form. Uh, do ha likely have that uh, capability of becoming severe. Again, that's level two out of five, so not a large or a significant severe weather outbreak, but just remain weather aware. Uh, surrounding that here north of Bismarck, we've got an isolated threat, meaning it's a lot less of a potential, but still the potential is there going into the evening. And it's especially toward Minot here more than anywhere else over the next couple of hours here is a nine o'clock snapshot moving through the Magic City and advancing to areas north and east of Bismarck. I think we stay dry in the capital city for tonight as we're seeing that westerly wind now realized in the central North Dakota. Uh, right now, still east winds and might not feeding into those thunderstorms here, but where we have a westerly direction where the arrows are moving here toward the right, that means west winds and that means the chances for thunderstorms are minimized for the most part. It's where we got that south component to the wind. Uh, feeding into those storms is where we're likely going to see that plus potential. That's why with that wind shift between Williston and Minot right now, and you can really denote the differentiation in our dew points here a lot lower. The air is a lot more stable towards Sydney Dickinson in the 50s for dew points, so the air is somewhat uh, pleasant. Otherwise, it's soupy thick here, 68 in Minot, but a 73 degree dew point in Bismarck right now, 74 in Mobridge, that air you can wear, but we don't have a real strong disturbance to ignite thunderstorms here over southern North Dakota. Plenty of heat though, 90 right now in the capital city in Garrison, 86 in Minot. Again, remain weather aware here across the northern tier of the Peace Garden State going through the evening time frame. Now for tomorrow, again, another chance for morning fog and isolated severe thunderstorms are a possibility, could be almost anywhere in the viewing area. Otherwise, look what's happening for the end of the week and the weekend, cooling down, drying out, comfortable days ahead, highs in the 70s. Perfect. Yeah, it's going to be awfully nice. Thanks.